Hello, hello everybody. My name is Brianna Fruman. I'm 16 years old and I come from the independent island of Samoa. Now, Samoa is a tiny island in the South Pacific, population of 190,000, where there are white sandy beaches, crystal clear waterfalls, and sunshines in abundance. Most people call Samoa paradise, but I'm one of the lucky few that get to call it home. Home is where my journey as a climate change advocate started. Growing up in a small island like Samoa, life can be peaceful. Life can be beautiful until a cyclone hit, or rainy season comes early and harsher than last. And then we are faced with heavy floods, which, is, which result in families and children being displaced and homeless. At six years old, I saw these events happening, and I couldn't quite understand why until I learned about this big thing called climate change. I didn't understand the science of climate change, but all I knew is that it was the evil character in my narrative and that I was willing to be the hero. Mm -hmm. So at 11 years old, I decided, no, I'm not going to let this thing named climate change and the hands that feed it take away the home that once belonged to my ancestors. I identified the problem, and then I started thinking about solutions. After a bit of thinking, I told my parents, I think I know what I can do. I think I can start a little environmental group and with my friends and see where we can go from there. So now I had an idea, and I needed to put it into action. I told everybody, my aunties, my uncles, my friends, all my family, and my principals, you name them, I told them. <laughs> By sharing my idea, it validated it. It pushed me to make it happen, and it gave me the opportunity for support. I got some of my friends together in a little classroom with permission of my principal, and we got everything started. The beginning was hard, but everything after that flowed. We started a composting system. We set up um, recycle bins. We started an electricity charter, and we sent around carpooling forms so parents knew what, par what other parents live in that same village so that they can use one car instead of all coming in separate vehicles. TV stations and reporters came to see how we set up these projects, and they always asked me, now how could these 11-year-olds set up these projects? And still now, I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> but I think everything was possible because I was passionate about the cause. I had support. But most of all, I never questioned myself. I knew if this is how I'm going to do my bit in combat, combating climate change, I'm going to put my absolute all into it. Along the way, I have come across a lot of challenges. People saying no to me, doors shut in my face, people denying funding proposals. But I never let that get to heart. People said no, I moved on until I got a yes. People shut doors, I knocked on the next. I moved on until I got what I was looking for. I worked extra hard and I proved everybody wrong. I proved that an 11 year old from a tiny dot on the map could make a change in their community. Young people play a vital role in the way forward with new ideas, energy, and passion. To all my fellow young sisters and brothers, here today and who are maybe watching this video. This is our world, our future. If we decide that we want our children to wake up in the morning and hear their native birds singing, go hiking and see animals that their parents helped save, to live on the land and to be able to experience what their ancestors once did, to have the same fishing experience as their grandfather. It is our choice, and the time to make change is now. And not by this year, I mean in this moment. Start now, join the Climate Change Coalition, or start your own. If you decide to study environmental science or sustainable development, start now. Don't wait, be a part of the solution. Recycle, reuse, buy a bike, take the bus, plant a tree. Start somewhere and see how many more you can influence because all great things started with small ideas, bright ideas. 
Remember to never let age be a barrier to you because being young does not mean you're insignificant. What we do now will determine the future of our children and the choice is all ours. My life will be dedicated to making sure that it, Samoa stays the same for as long as possible. I love my island. I can't imagine living anywhere else. It's my home, my identity, my heritage. My future plan is to complete my education and hopefully one day become a leader of my island. My climate, con my climate crusade will continue and I cannot stop because I cannot risk disappointing that little girl, that little six-year-old who decided to pledge her life to save her island. Thank you.